Old Man here, and today I picked up a small plum tree removal from my in-law's neighbor's front yard. That story is coming right up. Whew, it is a hot Saturday morning already, and I am headed over to my mother and father-in-law's house because their neighbor, right next door to them, they have a plum tree that they want removed from their front yard because it is dead. So I went over there the other day to check it out and it's dead. It's black and it's got fungus on it. We'll show you that here. But uh, got all my gear in the back, got some stuff in the bed of the truck. It's a small tree and I don't foresee this taking more than an hour, hour and a half to get down and everything loaded back into my truck. So, a quick job, and we're gonna go take care of it right now. Let's roll. We've got this dead plum tree here, uh, next door neighbor to my mother and father-in-law over here. And it's a small tree, but it is absolutely dead. Check it out. The bark is all turning black here. And this snapped off during some winds. You can see the leaves are really dying off. There's nothing left on this one up here. And you've got the most telling tale is this fungus growing on it. So we're gonna just take this down. It's not a lot of branches, gonna be quite easy. It's actually starting to split. Check this out, right here. So it is dead. Um, this will drop straight, this will drop straight, that one will drop straight. This is close to the house, so I might just put a small rope on it and just pull it that way while I'm cutting it down. And then we'll just chunk it down into smaller pieces so I can get it on the back of my truck. Uh, this will be an easy one to cut back. Uh, the only thing they had asked me to do here, they planted this little tree here. They said they weren't worried about it if it gets cut down, but I'm gonna save that. So we'll make sure we don't hit that uh, while we're cutting all the rest of this down. So that's good. And then a second part to this job is gonna be really cool. We're gonna stump grind this one down and I'll probably throw this one in for free since uh, it's a really small stump here. That one's dead also. But the cool thing here is, this is like the second or third request I've had for stump grinding.
Awesome. Not heavy at all. It's probably been dead for a while. Yeah, I'd say.
good job. <laughs> well, I just finished this job and it took about an hour, maybe an hour and a half total. Uh, the only thing left to do is get the scraps over there into the bed of the truck. And I'm gonna take all these scraps up here that you see on the ground and blow them into the road here and then try to pick them up. And then just strap that down, take it back to the house. I'm just gonna dump it in my backyard. Really happy with the way this turned out. The sun is starting to go down, so it's starting to cool down a little bit. But I guarantee it was at least 97 degrees while I was working here and it was just brutal. So uh, even for an hour and a half, you don't wanna to be too far into the sun, right? So with that, we're gonna call it a day, pack everything up, get some dinner next door, and uh, we'll see you at the next tree cutting. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, peace out.